In today's video, I'll be showing you how to fix crashing, freezing and other errors with PUBG Battlegrounds on your Windows computer. So before we get started, if you haven't subscribed to our channel yet and you do like this video, then hit that subscribe button if you want to see more videos on how to fix errors and problems with other games. So the first thing that you need to do is just go ahead and restart your computer just in case it is an issue with your computer that's causing the game to crash. And also when you do go ahead and launch the game, make sure you do not have any other programs or apps open while you do this, just in case one of the programs are conflicting with PUBG, which is causing it to crash or freeze or give you that error. So once you've done all that and if it's still not working after a simple restart, then the next thing you need to do is right click on the start menu icon and you then need to click on settings. Once you're on settings, you now need to click on to update and security. And you then need to select windows update in the left hand menu. And you now need to click on check for updates button. And if windows does detect any new updates, you then need to allow it to install those updates, restart your computer again, and then see if that resolves the issue. If that didn't work, then the next thing you need to do is ensure that you have the latest driver installed for your graphics card. If you're unsure what graphics card you have, then you can find this out by right clicking on the start menu icon and selecting device manager. And if you now expand display adapters, you will see your graphics card. And as you can see, I have an NVIDIA GeForce GTX 1660 Super, which means I need to go to the NVIDIA website and download the driver for a 1660 Super. I will pop the links in the description below to AMD, Nvidia and Intel where you can grab the driver for your graphics card. So once you've updated your graphics driver, go ahead and launch PUBG again and see if that resolves the issue. If that didn't, then the next thing you need to do is go to the location where you installed PUBG. If you're unsure where you installed it to, then open up Steam and you can find out the directory within Steam. I'm going to launch Steam now and show you how to do this. So once you have Steam open, if you now select the search box in the left hand side within your library and just type in PUBG, and if you now select PUBG and then right click on the game and go to manage, you can then click onto browse local files. This will now take you to the folder where PUBG is installed. The next thing that we need to do is go into the TSL game folder and then binaries. And you now need to go into Win64. And you now need to scroll down until you find TSL game. You need to right click on this .exe and go to properties. And you now need to select compatibility and tick run this program as an administrator. You now need to press apply and okay. And you can now go ahead and launch PUBG again and see if that resolves the issues you're facing. If that didn't, then the next thing that we need to do is completely close down Steam. And you now need to go to the location where you installed Steam. If you're unsure where this is, you can open up the start menu and type in Steam. And you can then click on open file location and then right click on Steam and go open file location again. And there's the location where you installed Steam. We can now right click on the steam.exe, go to properties, and you then need to select compatibility again. And this time we need to tick run this program as an administrator on steam.exe and press apply and okay. Now go ahead and launch PUBG again and see if that resolved the issue you're facing. If that still didn't work, then the next thing that we need to do is install the latest version of Visual C++. I will pop the link in the description below so once you've clicked on the link that's in the description below, you will end up on a page that looks like this. You now need to scroll down and you then need to select x64 if you have a 64-bit version of Windows. If you have a 32-bit version of Windows, then that will be the reason why you're unable to play PUBG because you need to have a 64-bit version. So I'm now going to go ahead and download the 64-bit version. Once the download's finished, go ahead and run the setup file. You now need to agree to the terms. If you do agree, go ahead and tick I agree and then press install. And it will now begin to update Visual C++ on your computer. 
Once that's finished, go ahead and restart your computer. Once you have restarted, go ahead and launch the game again and see if that helped. If that didn't, then the next thing that you need to do is open up Steam. Once you have Steam open, you then need to find PUBG again in your library and right click on the game and you then need to click onto properties. And you now need to select general and you need to ensure that there's nothing within the launch options box here. If you do have something within this text box, then remove the text and then try and launch the game and see if that helped. If that didn't, then the next thing you want to do is just ensure that you do not have any overclock settings on your computer. So if you have overclocked your graphics card, your processor or your memory or anything else on your computer, if you're able to, then remove those overclock settings and see if that helped. As overclocking your hardware could be the cause of the errors and crashes you're experiencing within PUBG. The next thing you need to do is right click on the start menu icon and you then need to select power options. And you now need to scroll down and select additional power settings. And you now need to select high performance. Now go ahead and launch PUBG and see if that helps resolve the issue. If that didn't help then the next thing you need to do is keep PUBG open as we need to change a few settings within the game. Okay, once you're in game, you now need to select the settings cog in the top right hand corner and then click on settings. You then need to scroll all the way down until you come across advanced settings within the graphics tab. And we now need to change overall graphics quality to very low. Once you've done this, go ahead and press apply and you then need to scroll down even more and you need to ensure that the DirectX version you're using is on DirectX 11. So once you've done all that, go ahead and jump into a game and see if your game crashes. If it does not crash or give you an error, then the next thing you can do is slowly increase the graphics of the game. So you would then go up to low and then medium and then high. And if the game then crashes, then jump the graphics back down a level. So you'd then go back down to medium. So once you've done all that, Hopefully that will resolve the issues you're having. If that did not, then the next thing we need to do is open up Steam again. Once you have Steam open, you then need to find PUBG in your library again and right click on the game and go to properties. This time we need to select local files and you then need to click on verify integrity of game files. And this will now check to see if any of the game files have become corrupt or missing. If Steam does detect an issue with one of those files, it will then attempt to resolve the issue. And if it does, go ahead and launch the game again and see if that fixes the issue. Because if one of the files are missing or corrupt, then that's going to cause you crashing issues anyway. So that will hopefully then fix the problems you were having. If that did not work, then the only other thing I can suggest at the moment is you uninstall PUBG and then try installing the game again. If you do have another hard drive in your computer, then you could try installing the game onto a different hard drive and see if that resolves the issue. So I hope this video helped you out and you enjoyed the video. If you did like the video, then hit the like button below. And if you want to see more computer sluggish videos, then click on that subscribe button. If you do subscribe, then I will see you in the next video.